Why is progressive Christian teachings false? It's because they believe that our feelings and our emotions are the ultimate authority. Nadia Bowles Weber says that some think it's dangerous to decide for ourselves what is sacred in the Bible and what is not, and I reject this idea. Then she goes on to say that the closer we are to the heart of the Gospels, the more authority it has. But what do the Gospels say themselves? What does Jesus Christ, the founder of our faith, say? After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus is tempted by the devil to make bread for himself. And in Matthew 4, 4, Jesus says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So he's showing us and demonstrating to us that he was not living by his feelings and emotions. Of course he wanted to make bread for himself. He was extremely hungry, but instead he submits himself under the authority of the word of God. By this, he gives us an example. We don't get to make the ultimate authority. Our feelings and emotions are not the ultimate authority. We submit all of that under the Word of God, and that's what we live by. That's what instructs and teaches us, and this is what true Christianity is about.